Okay, I would like to show you the progress of my butterfly house. This is Brenda's butterfly habitat. And as we enter, the first thing we see are the rolls. So we have that. And let me give you a little walk around here. Okay, over here I have lantana on the corner and then behind it is some bronze fennel and I have my pearly everlasting and right next to the trellis is American wisteria and behind it I have more false nettle and here we have a bunch of plants that the black swallowtail likes to lay its eggs on and as you can see we have a black swallowtail right there on the bronze funnel today I released some black swallowtails giants tigers and spice bush and then we have a place for the butterflies to feed on fruit and over here we have a sweet bay magnolia it had started leafing out really good but the other night when it went down to 27 uh, most of the leaves just uh, died but it will come back and then we have some swamp milkweed for the monarchs and in the back we have silver brocade for the american ladies and over here we have a little penta and then we have rue and that is for the black swallowtails and the giants to lay their eggs on and some more lantana for a nectar source and then we have purple coneflower a nectar source and over here we have new england aster and in front of it will be home to some butterfly weed as soon as i get it and this is my spice bush for the spice bush swallow towels. And over here I also put a pot of rue in. I'll just make sure I have enough food for all the caterpillars I'm going to have of black swallow tails and giants. And down there I have one lonely little butterfly weed. But I will be getting more. And this here is the blue wild indigo for the wild indigo dusky wing. And in this area, I'm going to plant a bunch of swamp milkweed. Um, these are extra food I'll have for all the monarchs. And here again, we have silver brocade for the American ladies to lay their eggs on. And in the corner is the pink delight butterfly bush. And then we have tropical milkweed, a nectar source. And then we have some more pearly everlasting for the American ladies to lay their eggs on. And in the back, we have Missouri ironweed, a nectar source. And here we have some more wild indigo for the wild indigo dusky wing. And a few small little butterfly weeds. And this is my pond, but it's still under construction. And we'll have a space for the butterflies to puddle in on there to ingest minerals. Oh, what do we have up there? We have a giant swallowtail. And up there, I believe that's a spice bush swallowtail. Okay back to the plants here we have swamp milkweed and I'll be getting more for the monarchs to lay their eggs on and here's a pretty little butterfly uh, decoration isn't it just beautiful okay and then over here we have salvia, a nectar source. And then I have 
some parsley here for the black swallowtails to lay their eggs on. And back here we have some more bronze fennel for the black swallowtails. And false nettle, I had to cut it way down because when it went to 27 the other night, it killed off most of the plant. But there is some green there. You can see it didn't completely kill the plant, just a lot of the upper leaves. And then in front of it I have more rue. And back here is more purple coneflower, a nectar source. And then here I have tropical milkweed for the monarchs to lay their eggs on. And the flowers, all sorts of butterflies love to feed on. And then I have another pot of rue for the black swallowtails and giants to lay their eggs on. And this is my arrowwood viburnum for the hummingbird clearwing to lay its eggs on. And then we have more salvia, nectar source, lantana, another nectar source, bronze fennel for the black swallowtails to lay their eggs on, a little swamp milkweed, not looking too hot right yet, and some more false nettle I had to cut down. And I'll be planting more swamp milkweed in this area as soon as I get it. And then we have uh, the other Pink Delight Butterfly Bush. And there is a Penta. Well, I hope you like what you've seen. Um, this is the progress so far. Stay tuned for more updates as the plants get bigger and I get more plants to plant. Happy butterflying!